In this video, I'll teach you how to use the Split Task Tool in Microsoft Project. When you have been planning a project in Microsoft Project, have you ever run into a situation where a task needs to start, then stop because of a planned outage or downtime? and then it needs to start again and go all the way to the end. How do you do this, anyway? Well, it's easy if you know how to use the Split Task Tool. That's what I want to teach you today. So let's get started. In this project, our maintenance team is scheduled to service Unit 1 during the week of July the 7th, July the 14th, and July the 21st. However, during the week of July the 21st, there is a planned outage that will prevent any maintenance work from being done on this task. Therefore, I need to move the work scheduled during the week of July the 21st over to the week of July the 28th instead. How can I do this? I need to use the Split Task Tool. The Split Task button, by the way, is located in the Task Ribbon Schedule section. When I click the Split Task button, Microsoft Project displays a Split Task Floating Tool Tip. And when I float my mouse pointer anywhere over the Gantt bar, I can see a scheduled start date appearing. When I see the scheduled start date to be July the 22nd, I need to click and hold to grab the Gantt bar portion from that point forward. And then I can drag it to the right. In the floating tooltip, I can now see the task start, this portion I have grabbed. I can see the task start is now July the 29th. When I release the mouse button, Microsoft Project splits the task. That's how to use the split task tool. And by the way, you can split a task as many times as you need to do using this little split task tool. So now you know how to use the split task tool in Microsoft Project. As always, I sure hope you found this video to be helpful to you. If you did, I'd encourage you to like, share, subscribe, and click that notification button. And I'd encourage you to leave a comment or question in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.